Maren Morris recently discussed whether she regrets her feud with Brittany Aline from a couple of years ago. The conflict began in August 2022, when Brittany Aline posted a seemingly innocent update. She shared a post with the caption, I'd really like to thank my parents for not changing my gender when I went through my tomboy phase. I love this girly life. The post received over 212,000 likes. Her husband, Jason, added a humorous comment, saying, Elo, I'm glad they didn't too, because you and I wouldn't have worked out. Initially, the post appeared to be a typical update from Brittany as she did her makeup. However, just a few days later, the situation escalated on social media. Singer Cassidy Pope took to Twitter to criticize Britney, writing, You'd think celebs with beauty brands would see the positives in including LGBTQ plus people in their messaging. Instead, here we are, hearing someone compare their tomboy phase to someone wanting to transition. Real nice. Shortly after, Marin Morris joined the conversation by commenting, It's so easy to, like, not be a scumbag human. Sell your clip-ins and zip it, Insurrection Barbie. This was clearly a response to Britney. Britney later mocked the comment by selling a t-shirt with the phrase, Insurrection Barbie. Marin then added, You know, I'm glad she didn't become a boy either, because we really don't need another dude in the world. It sucks when Karens try to hide their homophobia or transphobia behind their protectiveness of children. Weren't they putting kids in Biden shirts on social media? Sounds like a real safe way to protect them from millions of eyes. Fuck all the way off to Insurrection Barbie and the fellow IBS trolling this comment section with their hypocritical, hateful asses. Brittany addressed the feud in a recent interview on the Try That in a Small Town podcast. She claimed that Marin and her friends in Nashville have it out for her. Brittany said, She's got a group of friends here in Nashville that just have it out for me for whatever reason. To be so pro-woman and all the you're not, because I've never said a word to you, and you come for me. Why? Because I'm an easy target? Because I'm a wife and don't have a stage as a platform? But I have social media. For some reason, I offend them. She started to make fun of my business, which was hair extensions at the time. But isn't the feminist movement supposed to be about peace, love, and inclusivity? Why come for me about my business? After the feud, Marin Morris announced her departure from country music though she planned to continue her music career. On the PopCast episode from October 4th, she said, I love living in Nashville. I have my family. There's a reason people come here from LA and New York to write with us. It's because we have amazing songwriters. That's not going to change. She explained, I couldn't do this circus anymore, feeling like I have to absorb and explain people's bad behaviors and laugh it off. I just couldn't do that after 2020. I've changed a lot that year. In an interview with the LA Times, Marin said, the story going on within country music right now, I've tried to avoid a lot of it at all costs. I feel very, very distant from it. I had to take a step back. The way I grew up was so wrapped in country music and the way I write songs is very lyrically structured in the Nashville way but I think I needed to focus on making good music and not so much on how we'll market it. I've chosen to step outside of the drama within the community. In a recent episode of Cosmopolitan's Cheap Shot, Marin was asked if she regretted any of her tweets. She referenced her Insurrection Barbie tweet, saying, I don't really have tweets that I've regretted. I will say I didn't think my Insurrection Barbie tweet to a certain someone would have gained so much traction, but I stand by it. What do you think? Let us know in the comments.